Hey guys, Ben here with Dog Ranch Resort Dog Training. Today we are going to go over how to loose leash walk with your dog. So, hey guys, today's guinea pig is Jessie. Um, as you can tell, I haven't practiced or done anything with her before. Or if you can't tell, um, you'll be able to tell shortly. So, the reason I'm using a dog that I haven't worked with or, you know, I'm familiar with her but we haven't trained very much is because I want to prove the point that anyone can get their dog to loose leash walk with the proper technique, the proper training, and just a little bit of patience. So, the very first thing I'm going to work with Jesse is simply called a stay with me. I want my dog to be comfortable just staying by my side. Notice how she's all over the place. Well, if my dog is all over the place, that's going to foster a mindset that is nose to the ground, nose barking at someone walking down the street. Oh, there's a squirrel. Oh, chasing this. Oh, chasing that. I really want to emphasize the point that Jessie, stay with me. And all I'm going to do is just pull her and get her to stand right next to me. Now, I don't want her nose sniffing the ground. My dogs, when they walk with me, good girl, very good. They have to stay. Nope in a perfect heel position. They don't get to smell and do whatever they want. There's an idea, there's the point that I want my dogs to have as structured and controlled of a walk as possible. If my life is in constant chaos, well, I'm not gonna be successful in life. If my life is structured, organized, and planned out, then my life is going to be somewhat set up for success. So, same thing applies for our dogs. So, very simply put, the first way I go about stay with me is I let them walk around, get them a little distracted, and then I just make sure that when I'm ready to stop, they stay right by my side. So when I'm on a walk and I want to stop and talk to a friend, the whole thing is I don't care if my dog sits or downs, I want them to just stay with me. So as I walk away, she's going to get distracted, I'm going to stop, and just get her to stay with me. Good girl. Very good. Now, the type of leash doesn't necessarily matter when we're trying to look for a practice avenue, but it will matter if your dog is a 300 pound mastiff or a little toy cup poodle. Uh, the main thing is you want to know how to manipulate your dog just with some sort of tether or a rope or a leash or something to them. So, now that Jesse shows understanding that stay with me is the right thing to do, I want to make sure that I get her to understand what happens when we take our first step. Now, when I start to walk, my dog's natural instinct is going to be to shoot in front of me. So, when she shoots in front of me, I'm going to use her momentum against her and turn around and walk the other way. So just watch. Come on, Jesse. Good girl. Shoots in front of me. Nope. Turn around, go the other way. She's already killing me. Nope. Nope. I'm not letting her sniff. Good girl. Nope. I'm just making sure that she stays, good girl, in a heel position with me. Good girl. Nope. Good. Very good. Nope. Good girl. Good. That one was awesome. Yes. Very good. She stayed with me. She looked and turned as I was turning. That's a wonderful sign. It shows that my dog is starting to pay attention to me. It was a very subtle little head move, but when I turned to my right, she followed. So we've got a distraction here. What am I going to do? I'm going to fight to make her sit. Sit. I'm going to then, the next important part is readjust her collar, tie and tight. Uh, all of her muscle is low down in the neck, right? Well, right now, I already have much more control over her. She can look but I'm keeping the leash as tight or as loose as possible. There's some slack in this leash. This is a wonderful, unexpected distraction because I very much deal with everyday distractions on my walk. Notice, if I keep the leash tight, she's going to start to lean forward more and she's going to want to move towards that item. If I keep it looser and then pull her back every time she moves a little bit forward, she's going to lose interest. Tightness feeds stress feeds anxiety, feeds your dog reacting to whatever's coming towards it. Loose, relax, makes us almost as if we're not going to influence their decision. We're just going to correct them when they, relax, or when they react. So, I'm over her fixating on something. 
Now I'm just going to go for my walk again. Jesse, come on. And I'm going to pull her. I'm not going to say, oh, come on, sweet girl. Nope. I'm going to matter-of-factly just walk. So, good girl. Good girl. As long as she's staying behind me, nope. Nope. Good girl. That's all that really matters. Good girl. Nope. Good. Lost interest. Turn back around. Nope. So it's not beautiful. All my only criteria is nope. Is looking good, girl, for this simple loose leash walk. Nope. Nope. So now that she kind of gets the idea, good girl. Of a loose leash walk, I'm going to then sit. Make it come into something more structured. The way I get structure is I keep a tighter or a shorter leash because she already knows what it should feel like, and then I'm going to walk as if I'm in control. If I'm holding my dog like this, look, she's Already gone. She's already too far gone and she's going to win the battle. I've got the collar high and tight. I control the head, you control the dog. And that my arm is knuckles facing forward, right at my hip or slightly on my booty. And then we just go for a walk. My arm should feel like this when I'm walking her. The only time I should pull on it or feel tension is when she starts to react. If she reacts, I react and pull her right back to me. If she's loose on the leash, well, that's the ideal thing, right? So, as we walk, come on, Jesse. I'm going to keep us tight, good girl, and somewhat short leash. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. My arm, good. Nope. Is as relaxed as possible. Good girl. Sit. When I feel like she's getting a little bit too out of control, I stop and ask her to sit. Yes, good girl. Very good. Okay. And then I keep on walking. I'm going to go at a pace I want to go at, and she's going to be the one in charge of following me. So I'd say this is an okay walk, but it's still much better than it than what it was. Dogs want to be know, want to know who's exactly in control. That's the bottom line. They want to feel as if someone has taken the, their power away from them. So by walking Jessie, she's starting to slowly give up and say, "All right, maybe choking myself doesn't feel that great, and this this walk can be kind of relaxing. I can get on board." That's all I have today for loose leash walking. There's a lot of little nuances to it. So for any questions, feel free to email us or give Dog Ranch Resort a call and we'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.